Hey, many fish. It's the 7th of February, 2019. And uh, you're going to have to put up with some of my rambling this morning because I just got all this stuff dumped on me. Uh, that's just crazy. I can't go through it all. But the bottom line is uh, there's a great deception coming. It's ongoing, but we can see it emerging. And I'm telling you right now, it has something to do with space. That's why flat earth is so important. I mean, think about it. If you're convinced that you live on a rock that's shooting through endless space and there's life out there all over the place that's way smarter than us, in fact, they tell us that life might have even created us. Well, what is that? What kind of a mindset does that put in people? So then the world convinces you that will make your life better, happier, and longer. Which, who wants that? Who wants to live in this cesspool of a world any longer than you have to? I'm just saying. But this space thing is off the charts. I'm telling you, this is what's coming. And I'm just going to try and go through this stuff and show you what I saw. First thing was Trump at the State of the Union address. And listen to this. In 2019, we also celebrate 50 years since brave young pilots flew a quarter of a million miles through space to plant the American flag on the face of the moon. Half a century later, we are joined by one of the Apollo 11 astronauts who planted that flag, Buzz Aldrin. Okay. Then we get Buzz doing his solemn salute, right? So Trump, he is the most space-happy president we've had in a long time. The space force, the space this, we're going to Mars, we're going to the moon. He just told you it's been 50 years since they've been to the moon. And this little girl right here even wonders why it took so long to go back to the moon. And Buzz tells her, well, it's because we never did it. I mean, that's what he says, okay? you got to take all this stuff into consideration. This astronaut literally tells us, listen to this, you, you can't believe this. Go to the moon in a nanosecond. Uh, the problem is we don't have the technology to do that anymore. We used to, but we uh, destroyed that technology and uh, it's a painful process to build it back again. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys, but who believes this stuff? Who actually believes this stuff? Seriously, think about it. Okay, crazy buzz, all this stuff going on. And then I see this article this morning, right? Check this out. Not that one. I'll get into that one. Uh, Israel, their little space probe, their little lunar lander. Okay, get a load of this. They're going to put a Torah in the lunar lander. The tin foil, multi-billion dollar tin can, essentially. Right? So if you, I'll link all these articles. But if you go through this, right? They'll be the fourth country in history. This is important. This is spiritually important. All right. Let me just find where it says it. Right. They'll be the fourth behind the United States, Russia and China. OK. Think about what that says about Israel and what Israel is doing to set themselves up as basically the the center of the uh, world government. All the law will come from Israel, okay? This is very diabolical, people. Extremely diabolical. And they spend billions of dollars, they tell us, on space in NASA, when in reality they're funneling trillions to their dark projects and spending a few hundred million throwing up some buildings and shooting bottle rockets off into the ocean. This is the truth. It just is. And this thing is so steeped in alchemy and Kabbalah, 37,000 miles, 22,000 mile orbits, right? The alphabet, 22 letters. They call this thing Bereshit, okay? In the beginning, the alpha, the omega. They put out these CGI cartoons that are just so pathetic, but people buy it. I cannot stress to you how important this is to, to know <laughs> that they're lying to you about space. They're going to utilize this. I'm just telling you, it's it's part of this grand scheme. 
that's going to be used to deceive the world. They've already deceived it this far. The devil's already convinced the world he doesn't exist. And even those people who know he does exist totally underestimate him. You're dealing with the powers and principalities in very high places. These are the hosts of heaven. These are devils. And this is no joke. This is for your eternal soul. You need to understand these things. And now Israel, they're supposed to launch this thing this month. Okay, that signifies something. No sooner than February 18th, they claim. And Trump talking about how they planted the flag on the moon. This is the best they can do, people, to give us images of the flag on the moon. I I'm not kidding you. This is the best they can do. Okay, really? Seriously? And now they're telling us that they got pictures of the Chinese lunar lander. Okay, now get a load of this. All right, I'm just telling you guys. Yep, NASA says they have taken images of the Chinese lunar lander. And we know it's true because they put a big yellow arrow and they are NASA. So we have to believe them. Oh, yep, another yellow arrow. So we know that that is, in fact, what they're telling us it is. Ooh, they even put two arrows on this one. So they can't be lying. Do you understand what I mean? Everything they do is sorcery and magic. And they sprinkle a little truth on it and show you rockets blasting off. And show you these little tinfoil, ridiculous little gadgets that they claim to spend trillions of dollars on. You understand what I'm saying? This stuff is coming. That's the point. The point is, is it's coming. And I'm sorry. This man's in it. Russia, China, all of them. Because they all serve the same master. It's just that simple. If you're not washed in the blood of Christ, you're going to fall for this. Okay? So seek Jesus. That's, that's the number one priority should be in everyone's life every morning, noon, and evening, communing with God because he's the only one. We can't understand all this. We need to lean on him always or you will be deceived, period. Okay, a lot of links in this one if you want to investigate this stuff yourself. It's blatantly obvious. It's blatantly ridiculous. I mean, look at They even show this on a soundstage. Really? They're laughing at you, putting it in your face. And I'm sorry, but he's in on it too. There's no question about it. The, these two, the president and vice president, are the most space happy ever. The Space Force. Remember the Space Force? Remember the, the, uh, the once in a year, 11 11 on 11 11, the sun hits the phoenix through the five branches of the military. Now there will be six with the Space Force. Six, the number of man, the deception of the devil. It's just so ridiculously obvious. And I pray that this makes sense to somebody and that you click some of these links and sincerely seek the truth about this stuff for yourself. Because it's a big deal. It is. Knowing where you live and what God created and what he intends for us is a big deal. So I hope that makes sense to somebody. I truly do. If you don't know Jesus, you seek him hard and heavy, and he'll reveal himself to you. You need to humble yourself, because these things are coming upon the earth that this black budget money that they've been funneling off, you think it's just going to hookers and private islands? No, they are building things that are just going to cause people to literally have heart attacks in their steps. I'm telling you, and they're going to unleash these things upon the earth when God pulls his hand of protection and grace away. And you want to be part of that family of Jesus Christ when that time comes, and it's coming soon. you got to understand this stuff. You just do. I'm going to link all kinds of stuff, people. Please look into this for yourself and understand that Jesus is the only way, the only truth to your eternal life. This isn't about your little short 70, 80 year stint here. There is an eternity and God wants you to spend it with him. So seek Jesus Christ. He is the door. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, 
Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 